Friends, on today's video, I am going to be logging into FTX.us, that's the website, and we're going to be creating an account and getting things all set up so we can use this platform and trade, purchase, cryptocurrency, and all of the cool DeFi and NFT environments that this platform offers. All right, let's walk through it. Okay, so first things first, if you have not yet signed up for FTX.us and you're interested, please use our referral link in the description box below as it will get us some great rewards. So let's go ahead and walk through the registration process. Now remember this is a exchange and so you are going to have to trade some personal information in order to have access to this account. But again, this is not financial advice, so follow your own risk levels and do your own research. Okay, with that being said, let's go ahead and log in and get started. So I'm gonna come over here to the register button that's up top here, I'm gonna click on this. And as you can see, the first thing we need to do is use our email address and enter a specific password that will allow us to then set up an account using the link that they are going to send us. Also take note and make sure you are using the secured website ftx.us. There's a lot of fraud out there, so be very careful. Okay, so I'm gonna enter my email password and then we will hit the button down here to proceed. Okay, once you hit the sign up button, you are then taken to this identity verification page. And the first thing we need to do is enter our country. I'm in the US, so I'm gonna keep that. I'm gonna go ahead and put my state in here and then we'll hit the submit button. Okay, so as you can see, there are specific levels of identity verification that unlock your ability to use this site as it's properly meant to. So unverified, you can actually explore a site, but you can't deposit or trade. Level one identity verification, which is where I'm at right now, will allow you to trade. You can do up to 10K US daily withdrawals, and then you can have ACH bank deposits from a bank account. If you look at level two identity verification, as you can see, you can get unlimited crypto withdrawals, unlimited USD deposits and withdrawals. So again, we'll see what that requires. Right now we're on this level two, so let's continue to move along. So I need to complete my profile. We need to verify who we are. I'm an individual and not an institution. So we're gonna need to put in some specifics for me as an individual. You can see we're gonna need my legal name. We need a date of birth country of residence, we need a phone number, we're gonna have an SMS code that's sent to that phone number, street address, and then we can submit that information. So let me go ahead and fill all this in, pretty self-explanatory. Again, remember to send this code, so you can put in the SMS code, and we'll move on to the next page. Okay, so as you can see, we are starting to get into more information that we need to share. And again, this is where some people may not feel comfortable with sharing this kind of levels of identity. But again, this is very standard for these exchanges because it is a government regulated entity. So as you can see, we are going to be able to use our ID. In this case, it's gonna be my state driver's license. And I have some photos that have already uploaded to my computer, but you have some other options either to take a picture with your phone or use your webcam. Again, I'm gonna use the upload file option and we'll upload those to the system. Now quickly, here are the three options that you have for the type of ID file that you can upload or take a picture of, driver's license, identity card, or a passport. So first thing, I'm gonna take a photo of the front of your photo ID. Again, I'm gonna be using the file upload, but if you're using your camera on your phone, you will see this is how they will are able to do it. Asked to do the exact same thing, use the exact same method for the back of your photo ID. Let's go ahead and click continue. Again, for me, I'm gonna be uploading a file. We are going to have to verify with a selfie picture. So basically, I'm going to have to use the computer that I'm using. Again, if you're signing up on your phone, it's gonna be very similar. I'm gonna use the selfie style picture taking process here, and they will use those pictures to verify against your identity ID photo that you uploaded. And as you're walking through the process, you may have seen that your browser asked you if it was allowed to use your camera. Now, again, I initially hit block, and so if you did that like me and you need to change the site's permissions, we're just gonna come down right here, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the top right-hand corner and click these three buttons, go to settings, privacy and security, 
and we're going to hit site settings. Obviously, you can read the rest of this on your own. All right, I'm going to go ahead and do that and we can get moving. You will see which ones they are using. You can see the verification has been submitted and FTX will reach out if additional details are required. Okay, as you can see, verification has been successful and let's go ahead and click submit information. Okay, so there you go, friends. Again, if FTX has any problems with my account, they're going to be reaching out here. But as you can see, I've walked through all of the identity verification check marks. If you do need to re-upload anything, you have the option down here. With document type, you can see I can upload uh, front of ID, back of ID, selfie, or proof of address. These may be future items that FTX needs because the other identity verification images that I uploaded were corrupted. One other thing that I highly suggest doing once you verified your identity, coming back to the home page and then coming up here to the little settings icon, this takes us to our settings page. And as you can see, there's a lot of information here that you can verify. And what I want to focus on is actually the security page. So this is where you can change your password if you need to. You can enable two-factor authentication, which is really, really important, again, for security. You can do a withdrawal password, meaning anytime you want to withdraw money, you have to enter this specific password. And you can also do withdrawal destination whitelisting, meaning there's only specific cryptocurrency wallets that you may have on another platform that you are allowed to use a withdrawal function for. Again, a lot of great security here. So come in and make sure that you have this stuff enabled. All right, friends, that is going to do it for this tutorial video. We hope it has helped. Remember, if you do need to sign up, use our referral link in the description box below to pass along some good vibes. And stay tuned because we're making a bunch more of these FTX.us videos. Those tutorials will be released soon. Subscribe, and we will see you again on the next one.